Tonight we are celebrating Western New York and some very talented bowlers. It is the Madai College women's bowling team and they are headed to the NCAA tournament this weekend. And while competing at such a high level, they are making sure to keep things fun along the way. Twin your sides, Danielle Church caught up with the team today while they practice at Classic Lanes. This is the third time the Madai Mavericks are heading to the NCAA tournament since 2019. And these are just some of the 11 women who will be representing Western New York on the collegiate stage beginning this weekend. The only reason the Mavericks didn't go to the tournament in 2020 is because it was canceled due to COVID. But if there's one thing to know about these women. We don't give up no matter what. Their coach, Jeff Walsh, says when the Mavericks talent isn't shining through all the turkeys. That's three strikes in a row. Yeah. 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 Have you guys all gotten that? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I hope so. It's the culture these 11 women have created. We are a team and, you know, that's what we work to be. Uh, and they all battle for each other. Making them a powerhouse of bowlers. We collectively like yeah. try to bring each other up and party. These women have won five Allegheny Mountain Collegiate Conference Championship titles. And last year, they went all the way to the third round of the NCAA tournament, the furthest they've ever gotten. Kids around here see what we're doing and it motivates them, especially as a Division three school. Like everything that we've accomplished it just makes people want to come be a part of our team. This year, the Division three team is hoping to roll right into the final round in Columbus on Help. April 15th and 16th. Let's go. Great shot. We want people to be excited that a D3 program is going to the NCAAs for the second year in a row. And the Mavericks are going to take on Mount St. Mary beginning at 9 a.m. on Friday. Oh boy, oh boy. Oh! They'll still do better than that though. Reporting in Buffalo, Danielle Church, Channel 2 News.